Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today I'm talking about Google TV, specifically the 4K on streaming box that recently came out, the 2023 model that came out with Google TV instead of Android TV and these devices. You're going to need to know how to troubleshoot them just in case if they start to present issues where they're slow or apps are crashing or just in general the device just has very poor performance. Let's go ahead and show you how to fix that issue in less than two minutes. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do, let's go ahead and search for an app. So let's hover over to apps, come down to search for apps and games, click on search for apps and games. You want to come in here and type in B A C and you can just type in BAC and hit the search and it should auto populate down below and the list of apps comes up it should be the first one which says background apps and process lists I've already downloaded it so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so once this app opens you can immediately see that 11 apps are running in the background so what we want to do is come over here to close all apps and before we close all these apps, let me just give you a breakdown on what's going on. So these apps are running in the background, which means that your device is strictly running over Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. So that's Internet speed that is being shared amongst these apps that are running in the background, which could potentially slow down other apps that you're trying to use at the time, which could cause buffering or just slowness in general or freezing apps or just force closing the apps. So they'll just crash. To fix this issue, all we have to do is click on this button that says close all apps. Click on close all apps. Come down here and click on force stop. Click on OK. And if you click the back button, it will cycle to the next app. You can barely see it, but if you look in the top left, you can see the name has changed. So now this one says Paramount Plus. Come down here, click on force stop. Click on OK. That force stop option disappears. Click the back button and it's going to keep doing this until we close all 11 apps. So I'm going to close all 11 apps and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. All right, so once you've closed every single app, this is what it'll say, top left hand corner, no apps open, and then you'll just get a blank screen. And now you can have all of your resources from your device. So that's your RAM, your CPU, your hardware speed, all of that. And now you can open up one app and you can definitely almost guarantee that you're going to have a good experience. No buffering, no slowness, because all your resources are being dedicated to that one app that's open and running. So once again, to get this on your device, if you're on a 4K streaming box with Google TV or even Android TV, come over to the app section, come down to search for apps, and you can just type in here B A C and then go to the magnifying glass, click on the magnifying glass, and then click on the background apps process and lists, and then click on the install button. Give it some time to install. All right, and then you'll see it says open. You open it up, and this is what it looked like for the first time. You'll get this prompt. You'll just scroll down and just go down until you see where it says got it. Click on got it. It'll advance and show you all the apps that are running in the background. Let me know down in the comment section below if this assisted with any slowness or any type of buffering that you had with your device. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.